goodness oh my goodness this is so impromptu and I just was feeling inspired I realized the sale is like two days away so I wanted to make sure that I got this video with my recommendations up for you guys so thank you so much if you're joining me live today and if you are watching this after the fact thank you so much for watching as well and I will have everything linked down below um, in like the categories I tried to organize it uh, like face lips cheeks um, skincare fragrance hair care all that good stuff um, because this is truly the only recommendations video you need and I'm going to go over all of my personal favorites which includes a lot of tried and true things but also um, some newer discoveries and oh my gosh hey everyone as you're joining uh, drop a comment in the chat I would love to say hey to you individually and um, basically the deets on the sale because I haven't really like I forgot to go over that in my other sale video is that if you're a Sephora Rouge member, the sale starts this Friday, um, April 1st, and it's not an April Fool's joke, 20% um, off, and that will last from April 1st through April 11th, and then VIB is 15% off starting on April 5th through the 11th, and then Beauty Insider is 10% off um, from the 7th through the 11th. Hey, Jenny, thank you so much for being here. Hey, everyone. And um, no matter what level you're like at in Sephora, if um, you want to shop the Sephora collection products, you will get 30% off no matter if you just joined today or if you've uh, been a Rouge member forever, everyone gets 30% off of Sephora collection products. And I only have one in specific to mention, but the Sephora Pro brushes are absolutely incredible. Those are probably the best like tools for your money at Sephora. Um, and so I love the Sephora Pro 99. This is actually a, a blush brush, but I use this for my under eye concealer. You could use it for practically everything on your face, um, but it has this really nice like point to it that makes it really easy to get into like different little crevices crevices and stuff so i am probably going to get a backup of this but the sephora pro brushes have always been incredible and to get them for 30 percent off is great so that also starts on april 1st and you don't have to be a rouge um to get the 30 percent off so let me jump in to all my recommendations I'm gonna start with face or a uh, like makeup and then I have fragrance skincare and hair care as well so eye makeup is my favorite thing it's always been my favorite thing with beauty and this is like the palette that stood out so much to me in the past like three months um this is the Huda Beauty Rose Quartz and I hope it's like capturing how pretty this packaging is it's like iridescent and just stunning and I bought this for myself for Christmas and I'm just so glad I did because it is gorgeous it has so many beautiful like cooler tone shades but then there's also like some warmer tones as well and then we have a few pops of color like this I'm not wearing it today but it looks very similar um this is like a purpley bluish uh duochrome it is gorgeous this is also uh there's actually three duochromes in here and they're all so so pretty and the mattes are amazing, the metallics are amazing. It's just a really high quality palette and really fun, but also has neutral options that will basically get you through whatever. Like this is kind of a perfect one and done palette because it's fun, but also neutral. So I love that. That's absolutely my number one eye product rec recommendation. And then I recently picked up the Naughty Nude palette from Huda Beauty. And this is a little more on the warm tone side, but still has like a good mix of neutrals and um, like fun shades. And 
I've barely scratched the surface with this, but there's just a lot of um, different looks you can do with both of these palettes. I feel like they both stand alone, but you could also mix and match. And so I just think the quality of these is really good. And uh, these are $65. So to get the 20% off is really, really great. So I love both of those, but especially the rose quartz, I have to say. And then I would be remiss if I didn't mention this again, which is probably my favorite neutral palette of all time, the Natasha Denona Glam Palette. It has everything you could need. Like if you were traveling for a month, if you had only one eyeshadow palette for a year, like this is the one that I would pick because it's just so consistent. Like there's no quality issues like it's just so so high performing and the colors are just so me very neutral and today I did a little more of a fun look but this is usually the realm I stay in and I've just used it so much um over the past a year or so and I haven't stopped loving it so those are really my only eye product recommendations I feel like those are really nice like kind of grab it and go type of palettes and it's all about just choosing which one you would prefer uh, the color scheme of and I'm really really tempted by the Pat McGrath Bridgerton palette that just came out that has like that olive green that is my weakness and not a lot of palettes come with that color so I saw that it's not available at Sephora right now and it's only on the Pat McGrath website. So you can't get the 20% off, but <laughs> I might pick that up. I just haven't decided yet. Okay, these are always sold out, but if they happen to be in stock during the sale, I would really recommend getting them. These are the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Beauty Light Wands. I have Spotlight, which is a highlighter, and then I have a uh, Pink Gasm, which is a blush. So as you can see, I've used a lot of both of these. I have a backup of Pink Gasm, but I don't have a backup of Spotlight, and that like literally scares me so much but they have the weirdest applicators. They're a squeezy tube with a sponge, which I do not love that at all. I wish that it was just like a squeezy tube with a like nib or whatever so that it just came out. But I will put this on with you guys. I just like put my finger on the sponge because I'm the only one using it. Um, and this is spotlight like I said and it is the most gorgeous like ethereal glow that looks like skin like I don't know how she did this formula but it just meshes with your skin perfectly and there's a lot of different shades which is great um they really expanded the shade range but they are always sold out so if they happen to go in stock during the Sephora sale, you have to pick it up if you've been wanting it um, because pretty much I've always bought them full price because they go out of stock so fast. Um, so Pinkgasm is like a beautiful blush and then Spotlight is the highlighter I just applied and they apply beautifully with a brush, sponge, fingers, these are just amazing and look so just like glowy and dewy on the skin. And I feel like this, the lighting is like wa washing me out a little bit. Let me see. Let's see if that helps at all. But um, yeah, it's just a gorgeous product. And then my other like really go to like liquid blush is the NARS Orgasm liquid blush and this is like a very liquidy formula and it has a little um pump and literally the smallest bit goes the longest way so this will last you forever slash go bad before you can even use it up and just getting a brush but just a little bit um, using, I prefer using a brush 
for this product. Oh, it is just so gorgeous. And I love this with the spotlight highlighter. They just mesh so well together. And it always makes me think of like bridal makeup. Um, and what I also really like about the liquid blush is that you can really build it up or sheer it out. So I think that it would work for pretty much every skin tone. Um, and it just gives the prettiest look on your face and it doesn't look like makeup like it's insane it just looks like you have rosy cheeks like it's so pretty I absolutely love that product and there are different colors but orgasm is the only one I have and my favorite one of course <laughs> then this I really want to get another color of this is the Patrick Todd Chic Duo I have the shade she's so LA which is a more like bronzy neutral color. So these come with a cream and then a powder. I love that the cream has a little flap over it so the powder doesn't get in the cream. Um, it has a mirror which is really nice and the creams are the standout to me. Like it is such a easy like creamy um, formula. And it's very like glowy, but not sticky in any way. And so this is like a bronzier shade. This is She's So LA, but he came out with a another like couple of shades recently. Some of them are sold out. So I'm hoping they've restocked before the sale, but I really want to get She's Blushing, which is like another kind of neutrally shade. So these Patrick Todd duos are incredible. One day, I hope he just comes out with the creams by themselves because he has the powders by themselves, but not the creams. Um, however, I do think that the powders are also really nice. I just think the creams are super special um, and just a really great formula. Then this is another like tried and true, everyone knows about it type of product. It took me so, so long to finally bite the bullet and buy this because it's expensive, but I use it so much that it's actually worth it. And it's one of the most beautiful products I've ever seen. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow. And so this is a um, contour powder and highlight duo. And it comes with a great mirror. And there's at least two shades. I hope they expand the shade range. Um, but this like lighter color is perfect for my skin tone. It says on it, uh, fair to medium. I don't know how much this would show up on medium skin, but definitely on fair skin, it works really great. And then the highlighter is super, super pretty. I just love this thing. And if you like more of a cool tone contour as opposed to like a warm bronzer, this is beautiful. And the highlighter is really just like easy. It just blends in perfectly. I feel like no matter if you're a makeup like lover and expert or whatever, or if you're a beginner, this is a great palette because you can't really mess it up. Like it's just such a good formula. And I love that you get both of the shades. So it's just really easy. And yeah, so I love that so much. I wish it wasn't as expensive, but you know, that's uh, Charlotte Tilbury. Um, okay, this is a newer obsession of mine, but now I have like all the colors that would work for me. So this is the Huda Beauty Easy Bake Powder. Loose baking and setting powder. So I have, I just got this one. I have another color and a mini. <laughs> so I have three different colors and uh, this is just an incredible powder. So I have sugar cookie, which is like the white translucent shade. So this is really, really good if you have very pale skin, but also if you have any skin tone, but really want to brighten this color will brighten that's for sure cupcake is the kind of perfect shade for my skin tone so if i don't want to brighten i just want to set this is the perfect color and this has like a mesh um 
like instead of holes, it's like mesh. So that's kind of interesting. I don't know how much I like that compared to just having like holes, but it is interesting. And then this new shade, which is the Cherry Blossom. There you can see it's like a pink. And I could only get it in the mini, but if they do restock the full size, I would get a full size of this because it's just very unique, whoa, to have a like pale pink setting powder. And I think it is really pretty like under the eyes. So this is just amazing, but it's very matte. So this is going to be great for me going into the summer. However, I used it yesterday just with my normal like foundation routine and it looked amazing, but it was so dry because I'm not used to like really, really setting my face, but it just looks so good that I was like, you know, um, so today I used a face oil and then my foundation and concealer and then the powder and it feels much more comfortable and still looks really, really good. So these powders, the Huda Beauty Easy Bake, I'm like the last one to get on board with that, but it is super, super good. And I forgot to mention this, but this little beauty blender sponge, I or like puff, I love this for setting under my eyes, setting this area, like really anywhere, because you can really press it in, which I guess is kind of the point of the, um, sorry, my nose is like a little bit running because I have allergies and I forgot to take my Flonase yesterday. So, um, yeah, like the, the sifter that's like the mesh, it does help to get, um, let me try to show you with the white one because I didn't do this today, but having the mesh um, really conforms to the shape of like your sponge. I feel like the lighting is so washed out, um, but it just really works with the puff and then you can just set or bake and you smell amazing. So I think that if I could only have one shade, it would be sugar cookie, which is this like translucent white one. Cause I just think it really, really brightens on my pale skin and just looks really good. So anyway, I love that. And then if you want less of a matte powder, but still like a setting powder, the Guerlain Meteorites. Nothing compares, like truly nothing compares. Um, these are little like Dippin' Dots, <laughs> it looks like, of powder. And this, like, I should have just left my brushes over here. Let me just bring them over. Um, this is the most beautiful, beautiful setting powder of all time. It's, it looks kind of crazy, but... Nothing will set your makeup, but have you look so like not powdery as this does. And this also has a scent, um, but this is like a violet uh, fragrance and it's just so beautiful. Like it, it makes me feel like, I don't know, like royalty. And so this just like sets your face, but doesn't interrupt the glow or really the finish of your makeup, it just enhances it. And it is so gorgeous. So the long meteorites are expensive, but they last forever because of them being like hard balls that have to be like broken down over time. It will last you a really, really long time and really nothing else compares to them for a natural looking setting powder. Uh, for foundation, so, so many have come out recently, but this is the only one I love. Like, I kind of regret getting the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin. It might work well for me in the summer, but I just don't know. But this NARS Light Reflecting uh, Foundation, I have the shade L1 Oslo. This is the perfect, perfect color for me. It's an amazing formula. Uh, the 
pump, which NARS never used to include pumps on their foundations, which I just think is appalling. But this one has a pump, thank God. And the pumps are so small. You're like, there's no way this is enough foundation. But I just do two pumps, which I would say is equivalent to about one normal size pump. And it just shears out over your skin, but still has a nice amount of coverage. Like this is definitely more like medium-ish coverage, like light medium. Um, and you can build it up, but I find that it looks heavy on the skin if you build it up. So just two pumps of this and you are all set. It is gorgeous. And then I've tried a lot of concealers, but my favorite is still the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. This is the absolute best concealer in the world to me. Um, I like very natural looking face makeup. Like I go crazy on the eyes, but I really want my skin to look like skin as much as possible. And the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer always looks very natural. Same with the light reflecting foundation. I find this to look really natural on the skin as long as you don't use too much. And for the Radiant Creamy, I have four different colors, but my perfect color is definitely the light 1.25 Affogato. But for the longest time, I use light to vanilla, but this one is a little deep for me, I find. So Affogato is like perfect. So if you use L1 Oslo, Affogato is a really great concealer shade. But yeah, just find your shade in this formula and I can't imagine you wouldn't love it. Like it is just so good. And then this is a recent discovery um, because Merit sent me some products and I do have a few other favorites from them. And there was no obligation to like talk about their products um, like continuously. I just had to mention it one time, but I love them so much. I just like can't stop singing their praises. So this is the uh, Perfecting Complexion Stick. And um, basically it's like a really small stick foundation concealer type of product. I want to get like the lighter shade than this. This is the shade Silk. But this blends out so beautifully on my skin. And the packaging is kind of big for how small like <laughs> the product is so that's my only kind of complaint is that it's kind of bulky and kind of expensive for how little product you get but the formula is beautiful and I really do like this as like a touch-up stick I forgot to take this to the wedding all over the weekend but this would have been perfect like just to touch up after I was like crying and stuff um so I really think this is perfect in like a gym bag work bag purse backpack whatever um like if you're going to be out for a long time during the day and you want to touch up potentially this is a great product that doesn't get like cakey and it doesn't just look bad when you layer it over other things it just really blends nicely so I think this product has a time and a place but only get it if you're not planning to use it like all over your face every day because I think it would run out really quickly um, another face product that I just love so much is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush, Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. This is my favorite setting spray. This is the only one I really think that works for me, um, but if you haven't tried it, I would give this a shot, especially if you're skeptical about setting sprays. I think that this one is just so, so good and really does the trick. Okay, just lip products before I get into like fragrance and skincare and hair care. So all of my favorite lip products right now are from Merit and I'm wearing Baby, their signature lipstick today. And this is my new favorite lip product. It is so beautiful, so comfortable. The packaging is gorgeous. Um... I just think it's a phenomenal formula, great colors. Hey, Alyssa. Oh my God. Thank you so much for joining. And hey, everyone, uh, leave a comment if you have any thoughts on what you're going to get for the Sephora sale. 
Um, so baby, I absolutely love great everyday color. And then I also have fashion, which is like a raspberry shade. It is so stunning. Like this is just such a fun color while not being too bright. Like it's kind of perfect. And then this I've been leaving in my purse. It's the tinted lip oil in pink beet. And it's just a really nice kind of like a little warm tone, but like really on the neutral side, kind of like, I don't even know how to describe this color to be honest, but it's really gorgeous and it goes with everything. Um, and I definitely want to pick up more shades. I just need to look at what they have because I know they have a lot of like warmer tones, which just isn't my style, but these formulations are gorgeous, so comfortable on the lips and just look really pretty like in your, uh, on your vanity or in your handbag. So I love that. Okay. Fragrance. I'm a fragrance addict. Um, and there are so, so many perfumes that you can get at Sephora that I love, but one brand, two brands actually that I really enjoy that are kind of only found at Sephora are Kayali and Sol de Janeiro. So I wanted to mention these specifically because you can't get them at Ulta. You can't like really get a great deal on their website. So Kayali Vanilla 28 is my one of my favorite perfumes of all time. I just think it's such a staple that literally anyone would enjoy. And I have the big, big, big bottle. This is another thing that sells out really quickly. So if it's in stock during the sale and you've been wanting it, definitely grab it. I also have the mini size that I'm almost out of. And then I just in general love their minis because they look like the full size bottle. Um, so it just feels really special instead of just getting like a roller ball or something like these actually feel substantial for the $25 price tag. And I really like pretty much all of the K Alley scents. Elixir 11. Oh my God is such a beautiful like patchouli nighttime fragrance oh my god it's so sexy and delicious i absolutely love that eden juicy apple 01 this i think is going to be so popular for the summertime like oh my gosh i love this one it's not just fruity it has like a depth to it as well but I just think it layers really well with other fragrances and it's just so cute I love the transparent red bottle and then sweet diamond <coughs> excuse me sweet diamond <laughs> oh my god I'm like choking and dying this has never happened on live <laughs> oh take a breath <laughs> okay I'm going to try not to die. Um, <laughs> Sweet Diamond Pink Pepper. This one I think is, oh, it's gorgeous. Gosh, I really have a tickle in my throat, but, and I have a hair on my face, so that's not helping. <laughs> this one is gorgeous, but I think much better for like fall, winter. It's beautiful, but I'm not really going to get a lot of use out of that, like in the spring, summer. Eden Juicy Apple, I think, is a really good, like, safe bet for the summer. And then for Sol de Janeiro, everyone knows about their Bum Bum Cream. This smells absolutely incredible. Oh, my God. It smells like you're at a tropical paradise, and it's, like, vanilla and, like, just really rich. It's, like, Tahitian vanilla or something. Like, it is just so beautiful. A little almost like coconutty but like not really it's just so stunning but the one that I love the most from them is the Shirosa 71 caramelized vanilla and macadamia oh oh my god you guys this was my favorite scent like um fall winter oh, it is so delicious but I still think in the summer this has a time and a place like it's super like sensual to me like it is so delicious someone would just want to like smell you and like 
cuddle you and like be with you, you know? <laughs> so Shrosa 71 is gorgeous. Um, Alyssa asked, do you have any rare beauty items? I'm considering their liquid highlighter. I don't have anything from rare beauty, but I'm very intrigued. Um, I tried their liquid blush and it was so pigmented like it was just too pigmented because I have such pale skin um but if you have deeper skin their liquid blushes are gorgeous I really want to try their um I think they call them like melting blushes that are in a pot and they're more like I don't want to say it's like the same type of formula but like similar to the Patrick Ta creams where they just like melt into your skin that really intrigues me but I will want to see the colors in person and just in general I've heard great things about Rare Beauty so if any of you guys watching have tried the Rare Beauty liquid highlighters that Alyssa's interested in or anything else let us know in the comments okay skincare I am just very, very, very tried and true to my skincare, so these will not come as a surprise to you. Hey, Carrie Lynn, it's so good to see you. Um, yeah, if you watch my channel, these skincare favorites are not a surprise, but they are things that I like to stock up on during sales. So the Fresh Soy Face Cleanser, this is my number one must-have cleanser. Like, if every cleanser in the world disappeared and this was the only one left, I would be happy. Like, this is all you really need. It's so gentle. You can put it over your eyes and it doesn't sting your eyes, or at least it doesn't sting my eyes. They formulated it to be super gentle that even, like, babies can use it. So it's just perfect for any person like you can leave this in your shower and like your guest bathroom or whatever and like guests can use it like it's just so basic in the best way I've gone through so many bottles of this and always will sing its praises um I always forget that Polish Choice is sold at Sephora now their 2% BHA liquid exfoliant is so so incredible um Again, I've gone through so many bottles of this. It's just a tried and true chemical exfoliant and definitely a good time to pick that up. My Fenty uh, Skin Hydrovisor, this is their um, moisturizing SPF. I just buy the refills now, which come like this, but you can like, of course, buy it with the outer packaging the first time and then just buy the refills after that. So I absolutely love this and just can't remember life without it. The Pharmacy Honey Halo Ultra Hydrating Ceramide Moisturizer. This is my favorite moisturizer, hands down, no questions. Um, brilliant packaging. The lid is magnetic and so the spatula that comes with it always stays with it. It is brilliant. Like I don't know why no one else does that but it is so good and this one is the jumbo jumbo size and I've already used up a good amount of that um I've mentioned to you guys in the past that pharmacy um on their website does really great deals so I'm not going to be picking this up during the Sephora sale but this is a product at Sephora I would recommend. And then also by Pharmacy, their Honeymoon Glow AHA Night Serum is a really great like exfoliating serum. And they recently came out with the 10% Waterless Vitamin C Serum. Um, and this was sent to me in PR. And this is like an oil um, vitamin C. And this I think is really nice. Having a vitamin C is I think just kind of a staple in anyone's routine. So if you like oil serums, this is a very lightweight one, but I still would really only use this at night because it is an oil, um, especially going into the warmer months. But that's a new product that I tried a little bit. I can't say how much it does anything, but I really trust pharmacy. So I'm sure it's good. And then the final products are hair care, and I am very, very, very loyal to Way. This is my favorite hair care line if I'm splurging. The Detox Shampoo is 
so incredible to me and my bottle looks so destroyed because I just get the refill like big it's like a packet like a huge packet that you can just refill the original bottle or your own bottle and so I've used this bottle for like definitely over a year if not like a year and a half or two years um so I just keep refilling it and this is the detox shampoo it has their um oh my god Melrose Place fragrance which is a rose scent and it is the most gorgeous rose fragrance in the world they've also come out with a like body wash and moisturizer with this scent and it's just divine like if you want to feel like so pampered Melrose Place from Way is amazing. And then their super dry shampoo. This also has the same fragrance, but even if it didn't have the scent, like the scent adds to it for sure. But the formula is what's so impressive to me about this dry shampoo. I really don't like a lot of aerosol dry shampoos. I just feel like they don't do anything for my really oily hair, but this really works especially if I apply it the night before and then like let it do its thing in my hair overnight it works really well but it's also great for like touch-ups and it can leave a white cast so be aware of that you definitely want to like rub it into your scalp but I feel like that's what really works about it is that it's not just like a fine mist that like doesn't do a lot um so if you have really oily hair the dry shampoo from Way is incredible. I really recommend it. And I'm definitely getting another bottle of that. Hey, Christine. It's so good to see you. Oh, yeah. Carrie Lynn, I want to try the Way St. Bart's scalp and body scrub as well. I didn't get it when it first came out. So I actually have to add that to my list. Thank you for reminding me. The original Way scalp and body scrub smells like Melrose Place as well. So if you're into that fragrance, the original one is a really great option. So that is literally everything that I love at Sephora to this like exact moment. I cannot wait to go in store with my mom because it's her birthday during the sale. Um, I love when it works out like that. So we're going to go on a little shopping spree. And whenever I go to Sephora with my mom, we just like literally look at every single thing and we find like new stuff. It's so much fun. Um, so if you guys have any recommendations, let us know in the comments. But I also have a little like question box on my Instagram stories that I'm going to share the responses from uh, to give more ideas like of stuff I might not have tried yet or whatever. So um, thank you all so much if you join me live and thank you so much whenever you're watching this. I hope you guys all have an amazing day and I will see you soon. Bye. <laughs> Thanks so much. Bye.